I keep getting questions about health insurance. Y'all have to understand, I am in my mid-50s. I'm 53, getting ready to be 54, like in a couple of months. So insurance is incredibly important to me. When I started the company, I was married and I was on my ex-husband's insurance. In fact, we had dual insurance through the military and through his job, so I never worried about getting sick. I had a brain tumor when I was in my 30s, and I had residual effects from that. I also developed hypertension when I got pregnant with my son. So I had him at 40, but... The high blood pressure stayed with me, and the doctors were like, it's pretty much going to stay with you. So my health has always been in the back of my mind. Running a company is incredibly stressful, and I develop psoriasis. Psoriasis? Cirrhosis is delivered. Psoriasis, right. Stress-induced psoriasis. The first round of treatments didn't work. And so um, the doctor prescribed a cream. The cream was like, one of the creams was like $1,000. The health insurance that I have that costs almost $1,000 a month denied the claim. They were like, we're not paying for that. And they substituted it for some other cream, which was fine. But I just started thinking, what happens if I really get sick? Like, what happens if I, you know, need uh, brain surgery again? Or, you know, God forbid, have a heart attack or a stroke. What then? Like, what level of care am I going to get from this current, you know, health insurance that I have? And how much am I going to owe? And I was just like, yep, this is it. That was when they would not cover the cream for my psoriasis was when I was like, okay, I have got to really start looking for a job that has both health insurance and retirement. Okay. Remember, I'm in my mid fifties. I got 10 more years and I'll be 62 and eligible for social security. So I wanted a retirement from my job, Social Security, in addition to a part of my ex-husband's pension. So those three things will keep me going um, in my old age. But just running that company and praying for some kind of windfall, I had to let that delusion go and make the best decisions for me in the long run.